you can count on. <laughs> Well, I'll tell you what, some rain is moving in for tomorrow night, but the second storm could be snow and ice. I'll tell you all about it on my final forecast. Stay tuned. You should ask somebody who's been studying this all day long. <laughs> what will the that? weather be this Mother's Day? <laughs> oh, good. Oh, we are looking back through the years with our favorite weather guy. Don't miss it. And then at 6.30, Charlie Gibson. Good evening, Liz and Anthony. I just want to add my best wishes to Dick Albert. I know he's been around since Paul Revere made his ride, and the station, Channel 5, just won't be the same without him. All the best to him. I hope there's nothing but sunshine in his future forecast. Now, the Storm Team 5 HD forecast. Well, I would call this heading for the last roundup. As, uh, I am, uh, this is my final forecast on Channel 5, and I want to tell you that uh, I've enjoyed all the years here, and I'm very interested to see what's going to happen here in the next couple of days. As we're angsting over the storm right here, which looks like a rainstorm for us. You see the, uh, the rain over the Great Lakes? Well, it's snowing over the western portion of this country, and that area is going to come in on late Saturday night and Sunday morning, and that could be snow or sleet or ice. But meanwhile, we're going to have a balmy evening, mild, light winds, no problems, 34 to 40 degrees at 10 o'clock, and at midnight, 33 to 38 with a light southwesterly breeze. And tomorrow is going to be a great day. It's going to feel like spring. You're going to love it. One o'clock in the afternoon, 47 to 55, and 46 to 53 at around 4 o'clock in the afternoon. So it's going to be, we call it, a warm day. And wow is what I'm calling it. The winds of warmth for tomorrow from the south and the southwest. But look at these showers coming in at night. Now, that's with a cold front, so it's going to turn a little colder. ATC, no, I almost forgot what that means. Oh, a tad colder. That's what it means. ATC for Saturday as the clouds linger. And then what happens when the cold air comes in? We get a couple of low pressure systems moving up the coast. It may be cold enough for snow and sleet. And it depends on how close these get to us, how much precipitation we get. The second storm would be Sunday night or Monday, but it's not etched in stone exactly where that will go and how close it will be. So, how much snow are we going to get? Who's going to get snow and sleet? Let's look at that. Looks like rain and sleet on the Cape. Boston southward down through Plymouth and Providence. A snow and sleet situation, perhaps a couple of inches. And then mostly snow to the north and west. And way to the north and west, not much. Right now, it looks like a few inches. Not a blockbuster storm. But uh, uh, the rest of the weather team is angsting over this. We're not sure what's going to happen. But we will keep you posted. All right, let's look at the five-day forecast for you. Overnight tonight, partly cloudy, not as cold as recent nights, 28 to 38 degrees. And the forecast for tomorrow is for basically a not a bad day. Some sun, windy and mild with temperatures uh, 48 to 56. And here's your five-day forecast. There you have it, 52, 39. And look how cold it is the end of the weekend, the beginning of next week. Winter is not over, I can tell you that. <laughs> For sure. That's your professional opinion, that is, is it? That is my professional <laughs> opinion. That's right. All right, we're going to segue into sports here in just a moment. Mike Lynch, you've got to put your camera oh, down no, here, what okay? What are you doing, Mike? But the Super Bowl does this. <laughs> we're not done with you yet, so don't go anywhere, uh, all okay, right? Not going anywhere. <laughs> well, you know, we, we, uh, one Titan from his business is saying goodbye, and another yes. Titan from golf said goodbye, but just temporarily today Nicely because done. Tiger Woods, you know, one day. Mm -hmm. All right, Dick, pay attention to this. Finally, tonight, as we bid farewell to our friend Dick Albert, we have some breaking news. Now, Dick's been telling folks that in retirement, he's going to be painting, working on his website, and learning a new language. But the Sports Center 5 team has been digging for months, and now we uncover the truth. Please welcome Newton, Massachusetts native Dick Albert. Yes, Dick Albert has signed on as a free agent with the Red Sox, who are looking for some veteran help, and the Sox are thrilled to have him. I thought he came in in a, uh, a situation that, you know, kind of a fishbowl, where, you know, obviously everybody's looking at him and what he was going to do, and I thought he handled himself with, uh, with ease. He's the glue that holds the ship together, and, uh, you know, watching it through the news and stuff, you know, it, it was, it was, it would have been sad to see him in another uniform. He's a very good player. 
and we're genuinely excited to have him. Uh, not only is he a great athlete and a great teammate, but he's a great friend of mine. So there he is, the newest member of the Red Sox. You thought you'd have to go to some mountaintop to find him with an easel. All you have to do is hop on the green line and catch him at Fenway Park. That's the best news. Uh, Goodbye right. and good luck, old pal. No, thanks, we have Mike. one final tribute coming up in just a moment. Don't go away. Well, you just heard Dick Albert give his oh. final forecast a few moments ago, and it's now time for us to give him a heartfelt tribute. And who better to help us look back after over 31 <laughs> amazing years than Dick's close friend, Harvey Leonard. People have listened to Dickie here at Channel 5 for over 30 years. That's how long he's been tackling New England weather forecasts. We don't live in fear of the great storms. We respect them. Dick Albert has loved every minute of it. His forecasting scorecard's been pretty impressive in this confounding region of changeable weather. You should ask somebody who's been studying this all day long. <laughs> What will the weather be this Mother's Day, <laughs> oh girl? Rumor has it, Dick it's Albert was born with a barometer in his hand. As a student at Newton North High, Dick was a member of the Meteorology Club. This, Old uh, friends remember him as a weather nerd even then. We'd get money for our birthdays, or a tennis racket, or a ball glove. Dick would get an anemometer. <laughs> on weather wisdom is anemomania. He was a meteorologist for the Air Force before becoming a weatherman in Denver, where his humor was a standout. Our temperature's going to continue the old dipsy doodle. Then he brought his wacky, lovable demeanor back home to New England in 1978. Okay, I'm ready. Bico, which means, baby, it's cold outside. Well, we... we, we uh, uh. But first and foremost, Dick is a scientist who can track a storm, analyze an air mass, and extend it out outlook with the very best of them. He's traveled near and far to embrace the most extreme weather. From the top of Mount Washington, temperatures 10 below, winds gusting the hurricane force, to Tornado Alley, where the wind comes sweeping down the plain. Dick has won numerous Emmys and other honors. The satellite pictures are in. His children's specials were a favorite. You've got what it takes. And his visits to schools frequent. The lowest relative humidity ever And who doesn't remember Albert's Almanac? Bits of meteorological wisdom and viewer quizzes that were definitely Dick. The answer? is true. He was forecasting long before technology revolutionized the field. But when it arrived, Storm Track 5 live Doppler radar, Dick reveled in each new tool of the trade. As long as he was out in the weather, Dick had fun. Wasn't afraid to be made fun of. My flies, my vest, I am ready to fish the bat and kill. When I joined the Channel 5 team almost seven years ago, it was great working by Dick's side, having been friends, competitors, and colleagues for almost a quarter of a century. What am I going to miss the most about Dick? It'll be the great debates that we would have when there'd be an upcoming snowstorm, how much snow to predict, or how hot the next day would be. We could say absolutely anything to each other, and neither one would ever get offended. For each of us, each afternoon coming to work was like going to adult weather camp. I would say Saturday, just ducky weather around these parts. But now it's time for Dick to work on that tennis game, spend more time with his wife, Marianne, his sons, and grandchildren. More time to look up and read the sky, just like he always has. Only now he could just sit back and enjoy the weather. It'll be a breeze. Thanks, <laughs> what an amazing 31 years. You have done it all. And I know the outpouring from all the viewers, your fans, uh, phone calls, oh, emails, man. snail mail. It's been a unbelievable. Lot of, a lot of emails. A lot of emails from uh, uh, people that are now 30 or 35 that went to their schools and they're scientists now. And uh, people who remember stories from back 20 or 30 years ago. It just made me feel so good. They're so warm. They're so positive. And I want to thank everybody out there who's uh, emailed me, sent me letters, uh, called me on the phone. I've just connected with so many people on last few It's been a wonderful experience. It really has. And I know, Mike, you've got a special I, proclamation I, I, here. I, yes. I, feel, you know, I need a little bit of help. Marianne, will you come over here for a second, please? Hurry <laughs> up. Uh, Marianne. Uh, Maddie, Maddie and Mark. <laughs> Maddie and Mark, come on in here. While right. they're coming over here, Why I want to I say... Why should I be presenting this when these yeah. are the people that had to wait home for those many long, long nights when he showed up after the... Come on in, Come right everybody. behind you, Marianne. Come behind us so you're in Marianne, the lights. Everybody can Mark. see you. 
<laughs> it's, a, it's a proclamation from, uh, from the mayor, Tom Renino, proclaiming today, February 26, 2009, Dick Albert Day. So that's oh, guaranteed yes. there'll be toasty that's times great. ahead. Good toasty times. Hey guys, Absolutely. good. Absolutely. Good How's that, all right? And what oh, our viewing wow. audience Thank doesn't know so is much. these two really did bicker every <laughs> afternoon. That's the honest to God truth. Pop, 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 pop. <laughs> all about weather, all about weather. But never bicker with Marianne. 42 that's years right. of that's marriage. 42 Congratulations years to both of you. Of bliss. And, uh, <laughs> you're hey, hey, Dick, you hey, get hey, the hey, last hey, five hey, seconds. Hey, We're hey, about out of time. I just want to say, Goodbye to everybody, and thank you for watching me all these years. It's been a wonderful ride, and uh, I'm looking forward to the future. Thank you so much. Well said. Well said. Great job. After 31 years, the Channel 5 family has a weather word for Dick Albert. TFTM, thanks for the memories. Baby, it's cold outside. I am ready to fish the bat and kill. Say Saturday, just ducky weather around these parts. Well, you may think you got it tough in your work. Weather for the weekend and yeah. Wednesday? You should ask somebody who's been studying this all day long. I always wanted to be a maestro. For your next chapter, we wish you clear skies and rewarding travels. And for the three decades you graced us with style, knowledge, and warmth, we say thank you.